Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs! And we return to create a pet today in order to explore mixing and matching the genetics of one of the most highly requested doggy couples that I have ever seen in my comment section. So we are going to be doing the lady and the tramp today and I just want to put this out there that many many people have been doing the lady and the tramp and I think that the results are absolutely amazing! And at first I was like there's no way! I could make them possibly, possibly, do you get it? Possibly look nearly as good. So there's a lot of people who have been doing the Lady and the Tramp. I highly recommend checking out a ton of them. I highly recommend searching the gallery, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized I wanted to try my hands at crafting these two puppies because that was one of my favorite movies growing up. And I just wanted to say that yes, this one does have a sequel. So there is Lady and the Tramp 2 and they do have a bunch of puppies which I think is very exciting so we are not going to be recreating the puppies from the movie we are however going to be recreating Lady and the Tramp and then seeing what kind of puppies they might have in a second litter here in the Sims 4 world so with all of that said we're gonna go ahead and we're actually going to start with Lady and Lady does not look like this beautiful pharaoh hound uh, I wish she did because this is a gorgeous dog I need to find out if there might be a dog we could possibly base off of this model because oh my gosh you're beautiful look at those ears look at that coat I just want to snuggle it oh my gosh but anyway lady happens to be do do do, do we have no nope, not an American Eskimo <laughs> Lady is, uh, and I want to get this right because it's a very specific breed. She is an American Cocker Spaniel and she was actually based off of the real life Cocker Spaniels that Walt Disney and several of the, several, several of the animators had. And look at that, look how cute. Oh my gosh. It looks so much like Lady, but a lot more skittish and scared. We might take away that skittish trait so that we have um, more of the friendly, playful, that's more like the Lady I remember. Playful, friendly, uh, and very smart. She was an extremely smart dog, if naive in her own special way. So all right guys, with this beautiful base in place, I'm going to go ahead. We are going to dive in and kind of pull at the ears, tug at the tail, and see if we can make this dog resemble Lady from Lady and the Tramp.
mustache dogs with eyebrows are going to be the end of me. Oh, all of the animated dogs tend to have eyebrows and it is going to drive me absolutely bonkers trying to recreate them and trying to recreate the colors on Lady. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's like every single frame, they change the coloration so dramatically. I can't quite find a color pattern that I'm happy with. And believe it or not, I actually yanked the colors from some of the promotional pictures of Lady and the Tramp. And I, I had to darken the colors down a little bit because she looked way too cartoony in The Sims 4 with the exact colors pulled. Uh, but there we go. We have an attempt at Lady. I feel like she needs, she needs to look a little bit more elegant. I feel like I'm not sure how. Like I, the, this little, if she would just close her eyes so that I could give her the little markings kind of behind her eyes. What, I've never thought that I would have to try to do like eyeliner and eyelashes on a dog before, but oh no lady, don't blink. I'm trying to put eyelashes on you. Do not blink. Oh my gosh. I think I finally got some of those, those beautiful little wing eyelashes that she has in like every single picture added in. And that actually helps a lot. There you go. A little touch of mascara right above the eyes. I don't know. I don't wear mascara. I have no idea how it works, but I feel like that definitely helps to really bring some of her personality out. And with the eye, like her eyebrows are ridiculously huge in all of the pictures. It's just adorable. Um, but she also, I think this will help if I, there we go. In a lot of the pictures, this particular part of her where we've got this stripe of color on her skull actually goes uh, right between her eyebrows. So I think that's going to help me out. Let me fix the top of her head now and go through the back. But yeah, and coloring her ears was actually really hard because these are huge honking ears. <laughs> And so it made it really, really tricky to have to get in there and have to get every little piece of her ears. And I wish we could give her her big, fluffy, beautiful ears. And we're going to see if maybe there is a fur type. Oh my gosh, not that one. Maybe there's a particular fur type that really makes me go, oh, we finally nailed it. We got the ears. But I don't think there will be uh, compared to what we can pick from. Nope. I'm pretty sure none of these really give her the proper appearance. And so this, I think, is going to be our lady for Lady and the Tramp. She is missing something very, very important, though. Let's go ahead and add in a little collar. Uh, let's see. She has a beautiful blue collar on. And now it's just a matter of trying to find, like, which collar matches the most. Um, I feel like this collar kind of matches the most, but she doesn't really wear a spike collar. So we'll go ahead and we'll go with this one. She looks super friendly. She looks super happy. I really like her. She's so much harder to recreate than I thought she would be, mostly because you can't really get those ears to like lie flat against the body, can you? Can you? And then when they do, they get too small. No, I'm shrinking the ears. We need those big giant honking ears, but then we need, oh, what if I yank them down like this? Nope, see? She, she doesn't have them like flattened, but we can't really, because of the limitations of the game, rotate the ears so that they will actually uh, go up against the side of her face. And unfortunately, we can't make the ears uh, any fluffier. I wish we need the fluffosity of her ears to dramatically increase. Uh, and Lady, I don't know, that blue collar... I don't know. Oh, and then also now that I'm looking at her from another angle, this part of her body comes way up here, like right under the collar. There we go. So hopefully that'll that'll do it. <laughs> That was a lot trickier than I thought it was going to be to try to recreate Lady. But again, it's like each and every picture of her, she actually shifts up uh, her coloration. So it's very difficult to pin down an exact color that I can feel pretty happy with. And if you actually look at a whole bunch of the different frames from the movie, exactly where her spots, dots, and lines go shift around a little bit too. And too bad I can't get this dog to hold its eyes closed long enough to be able to get that signature eyeshadow that she she also has that's the same color as her ears but I'm very happy we now have Lady from Lady and the Tramp she's quite playful she is indeed a very clever dog she's very um 
<laughs> oh my goodness. I, I think she looks a little bit better without the collar. Does that look more like Lady? But Lady wears a collar. She always, that was kind of her thing. You know what I mean? So I think we'll go ahead and start with her. And now let's go ahead and recreate the tramp because I know many of you guys have been, oh, hey, that's actually pretty darn close. Good job. I know many of you guys have been very eager to see what the tramp is going to look like. And this is an interesting one because he's supposedly just a mutt mix. And actually the dog that the tramp is based off of is a female who they found uh, running around. And it was just a stray mutt that was kind of running around town that the team saw. And they were like, oh, that's the dog we should possibly base off, like, off for Lady and the Tramp, which took forever to make, by the way. And then they weren't able to find the dog again until the day before the puppers was about to be put down. They found her in her. Yes, her inside of the pound and they adopted her and she lived out her life after being a model for Lady and the Tramp on one of the Walt Disney like farm plots. And I thought that was the coolest story. I just was totally enchanted with that story. But a lot of people theorize we're talking like uh, maybe English settler. I, I saw or maybe Irish Wolfhound. It was all over the place. Like what, what breed could you end up with with Lady and the Tramp? And so I think like the, the Grey Terrier Mutt Mix is kind of like... <laughs> It's kind of what some people were coming up with. So I'm going to leave that into more experienced hands. So if you guys want to take your guess on what breed Tramp from Lady and the Tramp was, please do. Irish Wolfhound might kind of be a good mix, but I think we actually got a really good body to start with. So I'm just going to go ahead and get to work. And then you, maybe not that for a type, maybe not that for a type. And then once we're done... We'll check back in and we will try having some puppies between Lady and the Tramp and see what the puppies would look like in The Sims 4. These dog eyebrows, guys. These dog eyebrows. 
<laughs> oh my goodness it is so hard because the pixels are a little thrown off okay that's it we're gonna say that's it i did it i did it i added his eyebrows in we're just going to leave that but all right guys so there's a few things i can't quite get for the tramp the way that i really wish i could for one thing in all of the promotional material he is a gray dog and in the movie itself he looks more like a brown dog to me so it's kind of this interesting sort of fusion but i'm going to go with the like official figurine promotional material in which case this is literally the color lifted right off of the Disney website like using the eyedropper pulling the proper hex code this is what they say officially the tramp actually looks like and personally I think he's better off without the eyebrows <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and let him not have the eyebrows because it's so hard to recreate I wish I could pull his ears forward But you cannot pull the ears more forward towards the face of the dog And I'm really glad I figured out at the last minute how to like really raise the spot that his eyes go in Because that really really helped to bring out what he looks like to me I also whisk wish that we could get rid of this little whisker spot right there But unfortunately that is not something that can go and we don't really have his floofy muzzle the way that we should without it. So he's not perfect, but I'm pretty happy with our version of, we're gonna say he's our, our glutton who is a troublemaker and he's very smart. Oh. He is indeed a very smart dog and oh my goodness does he ever love to have his snacks as well. So they they don't quite look the way I was kind of hoping but I'm pretty happy. I think you could kind of look at him and you could kind of be like oh that's the tramp from Lady and the Tramp. Again in the movie I feel like he's more brown but this is literally the color that you actually end up seeing on all of the official pictures of him. I'm beginning to understand why people want pictures of my warrior cats for reference now. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead. Lady does need to have her collar on if she's going to look like Lady to me. So we're going to make sure that Lady has her collar. We're going to make sure that Tramp is ready to try out having puppies of his own. I think that they are an adorable couple. I wish I could get the brush tool a little bit finer, a little bit smaller to get, believe it or not, the doggy eyebrows up and going. But whew, there's enough work for now. This is attempt number one at the Lady and the Tramp. And maybe as we have more custom content rolling out I will be able to really show you guys what I wish they could look like with those big floofy ears and having the fuzzy face without the weird little beard on the tramp but I'm I'm happy with this for now this was a pretty good experiment I feel pretty content with the results and I'm learning a lot more about how to yank the puppies around in um let's see maybe make the ears just a little bit they both have huge honking ears believe it or not and I'm learning a little bit more on how to make the uh, the puppies a little bit bigger. Oh, 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 oh. Almost. Nope. Okay, too far. Too little. Okay, there we go. <gasps> yeah, I'm learning and learning and learning the more I mess around and create a pet. So there we go. Okay, I'm going to shrink his head down because I accidentally made it a little bit too big. Uh, and I think his ears are a fairly good size, but so are hers. So let's have some big-eared puppies. How about that, guys? All right, so we're going to go ahead and play with genetics. We're gonna go and grab Lady. We're gonna go ahead and grab the tramp. And I don't recall seeing any of their children look like this from the movie. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. This is the result of pulling the, um, the recessive coats on the dog breed. So let's try again. Oh my gosh. Again, um, you know, they had a lop-eared bunny. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is so precious and so cute. All right. Well, there's a cute little baby right here. Ah, this one looks like she's trouble and like she's going to grow up to look like her dad. Uh, no. Yes. Sort of. Huh. <laughs> Okay, remember when we did Balto and Jenna from the Universal movie? Um, they definitely had a puppy that kind of looked like their son. The third puppy we rolled kind of looked like their son. But for this group, these little ones look nothing like their parents, if you ask me. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty shocked. I'm pretty shocked. All right, let's try for another son. He looks nothing like them. He looks nothing like them at all. What is this? What is this? I guess that's... What's happening here? 
<laughs> all right, this is like alternative. This is like when when Disney was like, okay, we need to have the cutest puppies, the cutest puppies possible so that we'll really be able to nail it. Everybody will love it. Everybody will go, ah, and this is why like the puppies grow up and it's like, well, well, maybe we'll try again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, some of their their signs, like this one looks kind of like the puppies that they had in the second movie. Um, not so much this one. Definitely not this one. Definitely not this one. Definitely not this one. You are seeing right here, my friends, what happens. Oh, not these ones for sure. <laughs> You're seeing what happens when you use, oh, this one, this is a little girl who looks kind of like what, they, what she does in the movie. Okay, I could I could get behind that. Good job, little one. Good job. You you vaguely look like your siblings are supposed to look. But you can see how pulling those recessive coats from the other dog breeds can really kind of surprise you. But hey, it's always fun to have an unexpected twist to the family tree. We're not playing a random genetics challenge here, guys. Come on, get behind it. Or uh, an unexpected twist to the genetics family tree. But yeah, there we go, <laughs> guys. I have to say, their children actually look nothing like I thought they would. Um, all considering the fact that we are supposed to have, uh, I thought, children who would look similar to, uh, to the dogs that we've got in the movie. But we're not turning out any puppers who kind of resemble that. But we are ending up with a whole bunch of adorable doggos. Well, I say that and then. I say that and then. <laughs> we're ending up with a whole bunch of adorable doggos. So I hope you guys enjoy Lady and the Tramp's puppies. I hope you guys have enjoyed trying to uh, recreate Lady and the Tramp. It was definitely a much more of a challenge than I expected. So just be forewarned, if you are going for something really, really specific, it may be a little trickier than you thought. And if you thought that you could just take Lady and that any of Lady's puppies would end up really cute, then... um. You might be in for a surprise, but actually that does make me curious. Okay, don't take this the wrong way guys, but I'm a little bit perplexed. What if we took Lady and she just had a puppy, another daughter, in an alternative universe with another type of dog? What kind of puppies would she have had? Some pretty sweet looking ones. Okay. Okay! You know guys? You know, we're gonna stop here. The random genetics video isn't due out for a little bit, but I think we've had quite the adventure for the day. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a wonderful time. Lady and the Tramp and their unexpected puppies will be up on the gallery for you to enjoy. If you get even more ridiculous results than this, then do please let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye